20 months after then, Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich was let out of his house in handcuffs for what prosecutors called a political crime spree. Attorneys will make their final pitch to jurors. Blagojevich is accused of trying to trade or sell the then U.S. Senate seat held by Barack Obama. He and his brother, who was also charged, have maintained they did nothing wrong. Monday's closing arguments could last up to eight hours, and they come without the anticipated star witness taking the stand. For months, Blagojevich has said he couldn't wait to tell his side of the story. His attorneys even stated in their opening statements that their client would indeed testify. But as the trial ended, the decision was made to keep Blagojevich from taking the stand. Did I get up in my opening statement and tell them he was going to testify? Yes, I did. Did I believe at the time that I said that, that he was going to testify? Yes, I did. Have times changed? They certainly have. Prosecutors will go first, recapping the government's case and trying to connect the dots between Blagojevich and a close inner circle that allegedly schemed to benefit from handing out state contracts and appointments. Then it will be the defense's turn. Blagojevich attorney Sam Adam Jr. told the AP this weekend his message would be clear. First and foremost, the government has proved nothing. If convicted, Blagojevich faces $6 million in fines and up to 400 years in prison. Brian Thomas, The Associated Press.